Hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Tuesday. President Obama calling it a potentially significant breakthrough in the diplomatic impasse with Syria. Telling ABC's Diane Sawyer that a military strike could be avoided if Syria agrees to destroy its stockpile of chemical weapons. An agreement would give the president a way to save face as he admits he is losing support for that strike on Capitol Hill. Hawaii could soon become the latest state to legalize gay marriage. The governor has called for a special legislative session next month to move forward on a bill that would allow same-sex couples to marry. Support for the new law, however, appears evenly divided among lawmakers. If the bill passes, Hawaii would join 13 states and the District of Columbia in allowing gays to marry. Endurance swimmer Diana Nyad is defending her record-breaking swim from Cuba to Key West last week. Fellow long-distance swimmers crunched the numbers based on GPS data posted by NIAD's team, and they found that at times she was going faster than a U.S. Olympic speed swimmer. NIAD's team says she just got lucky that strong currents helped paddle her into Key West a full day ahead of schedule. And a day after their stinging loss to the Eagles, the Washington Redskins are facing renewed pressure to change their name. Critics say it's offensive to Native Americans, and now some of the biggest sports reporters are refusing to even use the word. The Redskins owner, Dan Snyder, is adamant, saying, quote, we'll never change the name. It's that simple. Never. You can use caps. Wow. Huh. What is he trying to say? Strong <laughs> I wonder. I haven't figured it I out I think yet. he means he's never going to change the name. I think that's what he means. Which pretty much they say never say never. Ever, so stay tuned. Right. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.